Hey everybody, welcome to our backyard. We are still having some wonderful construction done to put the really cool metal facade over the ugly spray foam over the windows, which was promised to us before we moved into the space. And alas, it is taking two weeks. So there you go, that's why it's not gotten done. Uh, but we are gonna do an animal movements circuit, so animal strength. And before anybody gets too particular, yes, some of the things I'm going to say are not in fact included in that, but it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna have an open mind. Um, to get started, we released Movement Mechanics Circuit number four. So if you want a more breakdown on how to go through that, that's available for you. Um, but Movement Mechanics Circuit number four involves a frog stand. So we're gonna throw that into the mix. This circuit.
Oh goodness. I believe I believe we got disconnected. How long ago did we get disconnected? A while. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> How interesting. We weren't having any really issues earlier why. and suddenly we're having a ton of issues and I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, why don't you just monitor? Yeah. And then we'll switch monitoring. Hi. Thanks for letting us know. By who, the way. Who let us know? Uh, Joel and Jens, they were both on it. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna blow through the explanation fast and then we'll get chit chatty. So let's start again. Uh, Move mechanics circuit four, you can refer to the video for a, a quick breakdown, but it's a squat down, monkey jump forward, frog stand, monkey jump back, side monkey. And then it repeats on the other side. Forward, frog stand, backward, side monkey. Cool, moving on, giraffe, marches. <laughs> you grab your books overhead. Everything's looking good. You hear it? It's, it's looking good so far. Why don't you put the headphones on? I'm going to find on. a way to monitor. Okay. Draft marches. Object overhead. We're not bowing in our back. We're keeping everything nice and stable. And we're literally marching in place or around your house. Cool. Next up, I like this one. We're going to do scorpions. I happen to have this uh, like cr crazy squishy ball that's for fascia release and a lot of different things. Um, if you don't have something like this, a foam roller would be fine. And if you don't have a foam roller, go grab a hoodie, ball it up. And honestly, it being heavier would make it a little bit more challenging. So that's interesting. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie on our bellies. We're trying to keep all the little buggies away. We're gonna lie on our bellies. We're gonna take that. Put it in the crook of your knee. And we are squeezing to get some hamstring activation. Squeeze your glute as well. And what we're gonna do on one side, we're gonna end up doing these 10 times on each side, is you're lifting your heel and you're squeezing that entire time. And what you wanna make sure you're not doing is having your hips lift. So you're keeping both hip bones to the ground and you're lifting back heel up. And feel the hamstring. It's not crazy doors flex or anything. Cool. And you can do that on both sides. Scorpions. Next up, we've got ah, inverted jellyfish. <laughs> we're going to flip over on our backs. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to make interesting, controlled, crazy jellyfish-like movements with our arms and our legs. However, it's all about core stability. So you're gonna be holding a hollow body position. You're gonna be thinking about keeping all points of contact on your back, nice, firm, pressed down. You're not letting your back arch up in a way. Bright sunlight, okay. So I'm keeping that engaged core and I'm gonna lift as if I'm thinking about doing a dead bug. You can make this more challenging as well by lifting up more hollow body and lifting your uh, ribs, not ribs, shoulder blades off the ground. And I'm going to create some jellyfish tentacles. <laughs> and I'm going to do these and create weird levers and really strange movements for 20 seconds. And I'm breathing through all of that. <laughs> the wider out and farther away and the more open you get, the more challenging that would be, obviously. So if you would like a little challenge, little circles could be it. Or we could think about isolating limbs and reaching out in a way. But what you're doing is trying to keep that core stable through that entire process. The less amount of your upper back and the lower, lower part of your hips that touch the ground, the harder that is. So true hollow body makes that more intense. Charles, will you show Gazelle and kangaroo options? Sure. Uh, we're gonna put a little Disclaimer on gazelle leaps. Gazelle leaps do involve a single leg landing. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you want to either choose one or the other if you are feeling gleeful today and you just have so much energy and you also possess the strength and wherewithal to land properly and solidly with a single leg, by all means, you can do both. We're gonna be finding some open space. I'm gonna start off by going over to the left of the screen to begin, but then I'm also gonna do a few facing you um, and towards the camera, just so you can see exactly what we're looking to do. You could do these if you have open space to 
perform several of these in a row, do so, you'll gain a lot from that rebound and that dynamic movement from one motion immediately to the I don't entirely know why we keep getting disconnected. Yeah, it's just doing it. Just doesn't oh, like us. We're not even on our Wi-Fi. We're on we're on our cell service, which should be much better because obviously we're outside. Our cell or our, our Wi-Fi connection is not amazing out here. But I think what we're gonna yeah. just do is one of us will stay off and monitor the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna be moving off to the right side of the screen. I'm gonna start off by pressing and jumping off of my right leg. I'm gonna take both of my arms as I reach back behind me. I'm gonna think about swinging underneath as I drive with that knee. And I'm gonna think about going up and out at the same time. I think about driving, driving, driving as I go and I land and you step through. We're not looking to just only land and balance on that single leg. That's not what we're looking to do. I'm gonna reset, or you could turn around if you so choose. I'm gonna take off my left leg this time. Same idea, take those arms back behind you, drive and land. Going on down, I'm gonna do this forward towards you. Again, taking off my right leg, get my arm set. Whoa. We're good. Taking a set. Again, arms, play into this. Land. Cool. Again, if you have the space to do multiples, you should do multiples where you wee. <laughs> and I'll turn around and do it again. It's a nice good stretch too for your hips as you get yourself through. If you want to do some kangaroo hops, these are just broad jumps. We're getting ourselves set. We're thinking about our nice, good, solid landings, but we're thinking about not going too much on our toes and getting those heels up nice and high. Really think about using those hips as you land. You get your arm set, you jump, land. You can take a step back and you do it again. And we do reps. Whee. Very nice. So that whole circuit together, again, we're going through all of those different motions, one after the other. We've got a lot of fun, random animal movements for today's circuit. So again, find some open space. You're finding what you need for all of our exercises. Gonna, again, some of them are a little weird. I'm gonna throw it back on. So I'm putting the workout back yeah. on. Oh, I'm being told to move. <laughs> Good. Uh, circuit three, four, or five times. We're gonna do movement mechanics circuit four with the frog stand oh well, my audio is being weird all right okay anyway giraffe marches scorpions inver inverted jellyfish and then gazelle leaps Absolutely. or kangaroo hops all right so with that said we're going to go through a couple rounds feel free to join us or you can just watch us be fun funky humans in our backyard moving around it is such I, I don't even know if I can call this a nice day. It's really hot right now. And this is like the worst camera environment too. You should see our backyard having to do, we have so many umbrellas covering all of our equipment because if we were to leave it out with nothing, all of our equipment would get so hot. It would get so hot, it would overheat and then die. And that's no fun. We thought it'd be a fun idea to be outside, but we were not expecting it to be this intense in the sun. <laughs> so with that said, I'm gonna start off doing my movement mechanic circuit number four. I'm gonna be doing this four times both ways. Feel free to substitute whatever number makes you feel good for today. Oh, I did this one wrong. Oops. Yeah. 
I didn't notice. You tricked me. Oh, it's so hot in the sun. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. We're done with our moving mechanic circuit number four. Doing it four times, both directions. We're doing giraffe. Giraffe marches. All right. Grabbing my books. And then, Nicole, if you could help me, because I was doing some technical support yeah, before. Yeah, you're going to hold them over your head. It goes over my head. Yep. And... Keep lifting. Keep those arms straight. There you go. Making sure not to flare your back. Cool. Charlie's turn to do scorpions. So he can choose the squishy ball or he can do the- Jordan in the call again. Yay. Um, the foam roller? Oh, the foam roller. Yeah. And you lay on your belly. You're doing 10 on each leg. And so these are pulses. Are you too squishy for that? Or I don't have squishy. enough friction. Slippery? Oh, no. The use friction the is bad. Got to use the gorgeous ball. There we go. <laughs> And again, you can use a hoodie or like a throw blanket. It's so whatever makes it to where you can squeeze. And then you're lifting your knee, sir. There you go. Wow, that's a very subtle movement for you. It is not a big movement at all. <laughs> Everybody's different. I'm sure mine feels like it's so big and it's really not. Everybody can relate to that. But what you're trying to do is get your heel on your head. <laughs> I think what I love about body weight movements like this is that it's such a simple movement, but it's so challenging, especially for someone like me with not very good mobility. Hard as I try. You're doing awesome. Keep doing it. At least 10. 10 of these? Yep. Oh, man. Hamstrings are going to be sore tomorrow. And I think one of the reasons why it's so effective is just that full contraction against that object, whatever it happens to be. Even if it is a balled up hoodie, you're still attempting to squeeze as hard as you possibly can, trying to get that heel to the back of your head. I lost count. Oops. <laughs> well, just keep going. I'll just do this forever. All right. I'm excited to watch you do this one. I forgot what's next. Inverted jellyfish. Oh, golly. So lay on your back. <laughs> and you are going to embody an inverted jellyfish and explore for 20 seconds. <laughs> This is where our improv training comes in. Oh, I'm a jellyfish. Where's what sound Jonathan? does a jellyfish make? Just embody it. Be one with the inverted jellyfish. Would love for our neighbor Jeff to look out the window right now and just <laughs> say, what is happening? <laughs> what are these crazy people doing? You should be doing it too. Oh, yeah. Good job. That's and interesting. Last for your Not so bad. All right. Gazelle leaps? All right. Or kangaroo. I'll do both. Just for the funsies. I'm going to be doing two just because I have the space to do it. Awesome. I feel like you look like such a strong gazelle. It's awesome. <sighs> yeah. 
I'm gonna channel an inner strong gazelle when I do mine. I think actually that was six, but it made sense. Am I losing my britches? He's losing your britches. And then we're gonna do five kangaroo hops. Yens, are you still out there? Joel had a bad connection. Oh no. Says he has to watch it later. Got one more. Oh. And that's the circuit. Woohoo. Oh, oh, Yens is looking for a foam roller. We should have got some water. Oh, you've got the rock PK pipe. Yeah, yeah, th that's fine. So the PVC might actually stick better oh, for you. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, so if you have like shorts on, like Charlie, so you have uh, exposed skin, that would be really good. Okay, my turn, come monitor. Well, this is silly. Back. It was fine when I was standing there. <laughs> okay. Better or better? Oh, so better. Oh, so better. I feel like I'm not going to take the time to tuck in the cord very well. Okay. Move the mechanics circuit. Number four. I forgot to stand up. Gotta stand up. Gotta get those squats in. We've got, we've got Joel back. Looks like he's got a better connection. Sort of like our, uh, our voice connection. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we, oh, I guess not. I can't talk and do this at the same time. That's not possible. On Facebook, we've got De Brian Darrow. I'm sorry if I ruined your name, but thank you for joining us. Yeah. Excellent. What's next? Hi, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, giraffe carries. Okay. Giraffe. Carries. Giraffe. Twenty, you gotta keep count. And I think something with this too. I was noticing. It looks so easy. You're just lifting your knees, but you're trying to lift your knees up as high as you possibly can. That's the whole point. Don't just lift your knee somewhat and then drop it down. Get that knee up. It looks easy until you do it. Like I'm, I'm. This is challenging. And with our wiggle waggle backyard ground added challenge. I stopped counting because I talked. Yen says it's easier to keep up with them um, once they're good and tired. Yeah, true. <laughs> you don't cycle through the counting as fast. Okay, so now I like these scorpions. These are awesome. Put the item in the bag and I just put this one in the Feels like mine goes pretty high, but it probably doesn't. It definitely goes up higher than mine. Also, when you were on the way down, I mean, your microphone totally turned into like dubstep music. 
That's more awesome. Oh, man, it's really hard to talk to and count. <laughs> you're you're so, dropping beats. Yeah. I have no idea why it's so scrambled. Yeah. 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 I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Who's the robot from Portal 2? Oh, like sad robot? Yeah. Oh, I'm, Joel, help like us the out. Turrets? I know, Joel, help us out. The turrets? I'm a turret? No, no, not the. Or well, I'm the I mean. Main robot. Yeah. Spoiler alert. But yeah, you sound like her. Remember with the scorpion, not to let your hips flare. Keep both of them grounded the whole time. It's easy to like try and open. <laughs> we don't want to open. Okay, I've probably done like 27 on each side. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is like, board you. I have to embody a jump. What? It was literally one of my favorite favorite computer games. Oh, Gladys. Okay. Yeah, Glad OS. Is that it? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and embody Was my there cake? <laughs> no spoilers. It's hard to embody a jellyfish and not make them. And we got dropped again. Well, hello. <laughs> we apologize for the technical difficulties that we're having during this. Just please uh, sit back, re relax, and watch Nicole be a weird inverted jellyfish. You should join the call again. Technology sounds so fun until it breaks. Until you change one thing and then it ruins everything. We got into such a groove screaming outside out of the gym. Okay, what's after my jellyfish? Uh, we've got the gazelle leaps. Or or kangaroo, or kangaroo hops, hops, right? Okay, I'm gonna do some gazelle leaps, I think. Okay. How many do we know? Five. Five. Whoa, that was a wiggle spot in the ground. Good thing I have strong ankles. <laughs> I think that was three. Four. Five. And then we're also gonna do kangaroo hops to show. We're gonna do five kangaroo hops, which is essentially standing broad jump. It's a kangaroo hop. One more. Oh, now it's Charlie's turn. We can't be a jellyfish without water. I had to go get us water. And now and the world is great again. Any. And I feel ready to go. I'm going to be modifying 
my movement mechanic circuit number four, just a smidge. And basically what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna begin with my side monkey and I'll always start it with the side monkey and switch things up. Um, I'm also gonna be jumping into my frog support. And then from that frog support, I'm gonna think about dynamically pressing out and back, covering the same amount of distance that I use to get myself in. So if I get my legs set. Books? What's that? Do you need to move those books? No, they're going to be just fine where they are. Awesome. They are, they are obstacles and I feel like I would be very good at this parkour course. Yeah. Avoid, avoid the books. Here we go. One. Joel said that he got to the cave area in Portal 2 and realized that he was having zero fun playing. Where's the wall I need to shoot? <laughs> okay. And then Yen says that they lost the water, so the swimming isn't quite right. I assume he's referring to jellyfish. It's like they're a jellyfish out of water. Sad. Oh. They're just a jellyfish chilling on the bottom of the sand of the, of, of the ocean. The ocean floor rather. So he's being a little oh. bit more dynamic with okay. that. Good job. Giraffes. Giraffes. Giraffes up. He's a marcher. <laughs> Getting those knees up. Keep those arms straight, sir. Ooh, Yen said that's how he found his first jellyfish. Ouchie. Hmm. It's very nice out, except it's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot. It is so hot. This is officially the first day I had to put on sunscreen. Are we doing... Scorpions first, then jellyfish. Oh, it's scorpions. Scorpions. Yeah. You do your uh, stamina marching, and then you do your impulse scorpions. Tell me if I turn into Gladys. You would know. <laughs> you probably know by now, <laughs> actually. And these are 10? Yes, sir, on each side. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the hammy. You're pulling. You're pulling your heel to your butt, and then you're trying to pull your heel that's going towards your butt, towards your head. <laughs> nope, you're not on. Yeah. Sounds like what, and I can say it? Perforation. Oh, a car? I, I don't really hear it. That's nice. Yep, thanks for being on top of the audio, Joel. We, we are literally wearing headphones and I have delay feedback in my ears. So when I'm telling you something long, like right now, I'm taking them off my ears so that I don't sound like a crazy robot. <laughs> and then I put them back on to test it. I wonder Try what it. the deal is here. You're back in. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder exactly why the call's getting dropped. We've got decent cell service. I don't know. He's embodying the jellyfish. Why did you decide to go towards the sun? He's a sun worshiper. <laughs> I love it. This is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> and so, other than the fun, creative silliness of and this... You can also go... Ooh, yeah. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to make sure that you are stabilizing your core and your trunk the entire time. So you're not just flat flailing. You're always trying to do counterbalances the entire oh. time. So you should be actively engaged, obviously, through that hollow body. Yeah. 
Good definitely, job. definitely staying engaged to that hollow body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gazelle, and then kangaroo. I did not do plyometric kangaroos. That's perfectly fine. I did isolated. <laughs> I did plyometric gazelles. Ooh, there's a bumblebee. He's a big one. Hi, little guy. That's an animal I can't really emulate. Not as much as I try. <laughs> Joel said Ra is displeased by his worshippers' performance. Rude. Who's displeased? <laughs> Ra. Ra. God of the sun. Oh. <laughs> that was too quippy for me. I'm sure that's a simplification, and Joel will correct me. That last part seemed a little slack. <sighs> what we got last quite part? The peanut I don't know. I think, I don't know. Somebody Man's critiquing my yourself. jellyfish? I think so. Or my gazelles? Well, we're I'm not we tired, you're tired. Gallery. Your eyes are tired. They're lagging a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of impressed at how how simple and yet challenging the circuit is. Oh, that five? Yeah. That was a little funky. All right, I'll do one more. That was oh. nicer. Oh man. Yep, Jens is confirming he was mocking the jelly. The jelly. It was slack jelly. I was embodying too much of the jelly. My turn. Gotta reset my little buddy there. It's still good. I feel like every time I walk this way, it, it dies. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna do my moving mechanic circuit for frog stands. Do I stand up? No, no. I always forget when to stand up. Yeah, after you come back. More of the story. <laughs> Two, three, yeah. Then up, and then back. And then up. Ooh, giraffes. I'm proud. Josh would have reminded us to get water. Yes, he would have. Go take a water break. Are we looking tired? <laughs> Whoa, fine. It's kind of crazy to think that it snowed only a few weeks ago. I know. We are, we are so not adapted to this. <laughs> and everybody else in the warm climate areas, like your sister, are like, it's 70? That's cold. I'm wearing a jacket. <laughs> yeah, she's. Uh, square. I think, I think it'll take maybe like, I don't know, maybe another month before we're actually acclimated to this. <laughs> the sun is so hot. It, oh man, it's so overbearing. 
They can't hear you, just so you know. <laughs> we got kicked off again. <laughs> Joel says, oof, being indoors isn't much better. And it, it, it also feels dumb. It's like, well, if it's so hot that it's feeling muggy and it's hard to work out, like, you, we've got air conditioning. But there's, like, the principle of it. It's, it's barely. It's like the first week of actual good weather. Why... Why would you use it? like I would I would try to hold off to use AC until late June. How are you finding these animal movements, Joel? Are they surprisingly challenging? Or are you like, eh, no biggie? We're gonna get Nicole back on the call. Getting towards 20 seconds is like, I know that I always count slow, but that's good. But still, it's just, it's challenging. Last but not least, my gazelles. You ran inside last time, so you did not get to watch my gazelles. I will watch right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Think more knee drive and less leg swing. Yes, sir. Knee drive. Good try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to not make it ballet. I think if, knee drive, knee drive. even though we're going for both, we're going for height and distance, if there were one, go for height. Go for height. Go for height. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really <laughs> That's challenging. Wild. That's hard. Yeah, cool. There you go. It's making my bun loose. I think last one. Expressive whoa man bun. <laughs> <laughs> and then my kangaroos. <sighs> Tired. I'm a kangaroo. <laughs> Watch me hop. I would be a very sad, not great at hopping. Uh -huh. I so jo much Joel practice. says, Joel says, let's put it this way. I'm glad I'm not vegetarian because I'm going to eat each one of these animals as retribution. To which Jens says, scorpion? Question mark. And to that I say, you, yeah. I mean, no, that's totally a thing. Yeah, that's yeah, a delicacy sure protein, in some cultures. Actually. There you go. Oh, who's been counting? Was that three or four? I was looking at chat. Three. Our friends know. were distracting us. I know. Distracting me. Distractions. We'll count it. It's four right now. Last one. Okay. And then I'm going to join in real quick just because I realized that there was something about those gazelles, about those gazelles. That i forgot yeah, to say before we uh we get off and let y'all keep doing your thing um these can be done in place you don't need to cover distance if you don't want to the mechanics are essentially the same this is something where you can think about just driving up and jumping and you're attempting to drive through that knee drive through those arms but also extend back through that takeoff leg and you can get this to go and you you're not taking up any space you're not going for distance it's just that dynamic drive with the 
opposite extension of the other leg. And so I'll take off from the other side. Again, I'm driving this leg up. I'm swinging my arms, but immediately as I leave the floor, I'm gonna be thinking about reaching this leg back behind me as far as possible. And I land. Again, you don't need to land solidly and fully on one leg in balance. You can absolutely step down again with that second leg, but these are ones that you can do multiple times in a row without having to take up a ton of space. So again, we've got a fun, funky animal movement inspired circuit for you all today. Uh, this is a good one to, to do wherever you are. You can you can take up some, some space in your backyard. You can soak up some sun and get some vitamin D. Arguably, maybe too much sun right now. Maybe a little too much sun, but that's okay. It, we're, it's, we've been inside for six months, so this is great. This is wonderful, and I'm just going to... ha. Ah, Yes, oh, fantastic. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us again. We we looked into the gym. Did I cut? No, no, you're good. I just can't do it right. Oh. So I need to do the sign off. <laughs> <laughs> but you can talk right now. Yeah, um, so I was in the gym earlier today. I had to grab a, a, and actually a longer ethernet cord in order to fit our computer outside and actually be able to do this whole technical setup outside. The gym looks cool. The the whole like plating and sheeting on the front of the gym, I did take a picture. I'll post that up on Discord later. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah, thank you all for, for coming on. Nicole's gonna do the full sign off because I gotta push some buttons on screen and make everything work. I'm trying to do it and it's really weird. It's not functioning. Okay, y'all are great. Thanks for joining us. Uh, definitely stretch after this. Enjoy those crazy jellyfishes. Charlie's going to tell me when he's figured it out. <laughs> Don't oh, forget, good. the tallest of giraffes. It was like a smaller picture for me. It was weird. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah. <laughs>